What's up guys, just made it to my haircut appointment. I am the worst, I always forget to vlog. We've done so many fun and cool things these past few weeks. Either Blank or I forget to vlog and then we're like, oh, the day went to shit because you forgot to vlog this or you forgot to vlog that. So I'm gonna try my best to vlog today, guys. I'm outside the haircut. It's currently 9.02. I played soccer last night and every time I play soccer, I am dead, I'm sore. So I didn't go to the gym this morning, but we still have a day full of exercise. I think I'm gonna hit the gym and then Blanca. And then tonight, this new cycle bar opened up here in Longmont. Los que no saben que es un cycle bar, it's like a bunch of bikes all together and there's like an instructor y lo otro. These are like, oh, go, go, go. <laughs> So that just opened up and actually Kaylee, Marco, and Blanca and I are going to do it tonight. Hopefully, hopefully, right? Because it snowed a lot and a lot of businesses like to just close because it snows. So I'm just waiting here for my barber. He should be here any minute now. I'm a little bit early. Come along with us. Hopefully Blanca's vlogging right now because I did tell her. Hi, Angel. Ya acabaste de almorzar y de limpiar. Sí. Back from a haircut. Um, you can't even tell I got one, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm letting my hair grow out, guys. I don't know why. I don't know. Every time I come in, I'm gonna say I'm gonna cut it. I tell Blanca I'm gonna cut it, but I don't know. I like end up flaking and I get scared because I think I want it short, but then when it gets short, I'm like, oh shit, man, I must got it on and like you know, chubby. So I'm like, nah, I'll just let it grow out. Good morning, guys. I just finished giving Franco some breakfast. Are you so cute? Now the one thing that he wants to do as soon as he wakes up and comes downstairs is eat. We used to like come downstairs, play a little, and then he would eat, and I would make him breakfast but now he wakes up and we come straight to make him breakfast so he could eat because he wakes up hungry so he just had some yogurt with fruit um and jonathan just left for his haircut and i sent him also to get some groceries so on his way back he's gonna stop by the grocery store so he could buy us some groceries because i need I need oatmeal, milk, and eggs because I need to make my protein pancakes. Are you okay? You're done. So, I'll show you guys how I make my protein pancakes in this vlog. But I'm going to wash him up and do some playtime with him now. Ready? <laughs> Let's wash you up, up, up. Okay, when that happens, as you saw, he got wet from literally everywhere. His foot is soaked. We change him. I usually like to keep him in his little sleeper for a little longer throughout the day, just maybe until he has his first snack, because he already got dirty from breakfast. But he's wet, so let's go change him. Una, dos, y... Tres! <laughs> Alrighty, and change. Let's go play. The second breakfast of the day. <laughs> some huevito with tortillas, some huevito with bread. ¿Te gusta, Franco? Mm. Sí? Mm. And even the dogs are eating over here. También les, pues Blanca les hizo un huevito con croquetas. You guys say that we don't show them anymore, so here they are eating. You like it? Yeah? You like it, Rami? You guys, I've been trying to get Franco milk for a while now and he just does not like it. Ready? Mm. 
I don't know if it's the milk he doesn't like or the the bottle. Um, his pediatrician did tell us to give him milk when he was 11 months, when he turned 11 months, but I decided to just wait until it was closer to his one year birthday. So he turns one next week and I've been trying to give him, I gave him a regular like whole milk, but this one that I was trying to give him is lactate milk, which essentially just has a, what did she say? It has maybe pro a bacteria or what? It has a protein that helps you break up. Oh, what is that? Yeah. The only difference? A protein that helps break down. Not protein. Enzymes. An enzyme. Right? Yeah. An enzyme that helps break down the lactose so that it doesn't hurt your stomach. Um, and it just breaks down. It like helps you digest it better. So I try to give that to him because I think lactate is really good and regular milk is really bad. But he doesn't like it either. So I don't know. He's just not going to want it. Then. Okay guys, my friend Marco last night brought over some of his famous, world famous chicken noodle soup. My bad, I was the last one to eat some last night because I got home from my game and I forgot to put it in the fridge. So I'm obligated to say that that was my fault because even though Blanca was the last one to go upstairs. And um, right now, I'm gonna sacrifice you myself. Start the fire right now? <laughs> the fire? Tell them to comment below. Seriously. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna go put it in the microwave. I'm gonna see if it's still good. If it hurts my stomach, then at least I sacrifice myself. Comment down below whose fault you think it is. The person that last ate the food or the last person to go upstairs after, say, when she cleaned the kitchen. So, no. Yeah, no. let me know. Hey, <laughs> keep it nice. Keep Babe, it nice. Don't be it. Give me this. Freaking crackhead. You guys, literally comment down below. Babe, you better leave this in. Do you think that the last person that ate the food should put it away? Not the last person that went upstairs. He said she went upstairs after cleaning. No. When he got home from his soccer game, everything was already clean. And then he ate the soup, okay? It's not like, oh, I cleaned after he went upstairs and after he finished eating. No. Everything was already clean. And then he got home. And then he ate the soup. And then I went upstairs because I was going to bed. Comment down below. I need to give you guys a right explanation. After I, I understand I that what I'm saying guys is that okay It might have been my fault that I was the last one to eat blah blah blah, but she as a good wife Okay, okay, ya se fue a dormir, ya, ya se fue. As a good wife? <laughs> okay, que me cuesta nomas guardar esto just to make a point in the morning No, para que no te hagas and it's not, I didn't come back into the kitchen when I went upstairs I just turned off the lights and went upstairs No you did Yes I or else I would have waited. I was waiting for you. You came to the kitchen. And you started doing no, stuff. No, I swear to God. The laundry room. If the roles were reversed and I saw something that she, ate, I would have just put it away. Also, I didn't take the laundry upstairs. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, guys. We just finished breakfast. I ate a little cereal. Blanca ate pancakes. What are you doing, babe? I can't get the answer to that on Apple Watch. Shut up. <laughs> Look at all these. <laughs> Gordo está jugando porque se despertó de un nap. That's why his hair is like that. Cabele. Ya sabes cuál es. Come here. <laughs> Babu. <laughs> Now his favorite thing to do in the whole wide world is climb the stairs. It's almost nap time, so we're gonna let him get tired a little bit. This is what I see every day. All right, guys, before we continue with the video, huge shout out to our sponsor today, 
upside for sponsoring this video. Guys, if you're watching this, most likely you already put gas in your car, you already buy groceries, you already do a lot of things on your own. So why not earn cash back on all these purchases? I've been using Upside a lot lately, actually. As many of you guys know, as we've shown some previous videos back, Blanca and I have been getting a lot into snowboarding and skiing. More specifically me, I kind of like to go every, almost every week now. I don't really show it. Just because I go like super early in the mornings and I come back before like noon. But with that being said, it does involve a lot of driving. Therefore, I have to put a lot of gas in the Jeep, like almost constantly. So Upside has helped me not only like, I already have to put gas in the jeep regardless so might as well earn cash back and not only that but it shows me on the app the app shows you like the area you're in where you live whether you're on a trip knows your location therefore it gives you like the best deals around you which is i think is pretty neat because it doesn't thinking for me you know what i mean like if i'm either five, 50 miles away from home or just three miles away from home it gives me specific gas stations or groceries where i will earn the most cash back and you might be asking yourself okay like what's the catch why are you telling us this well that's where we come in guys and we can help you you guys use my promo code on the screen right now and you actually get 25 cents back on every gallon on your first tank of gas that's just free money guys come on like that's a no-brainer and another really important thing to note guys which is really super important to me upside doesn't sell your personal information to third parties they know your information is a vital part to keeping this like trustworthy relationship so i think that's super neat of them to get started download the free upside app use my promo code and earn an extra 25 cents back for every gallon on your first tank of gas would you rather get zero cents back or 25 cents back guys it's it's literally a no-brainer like if you use our code you're just getting free money back so why not you know especially in these times these times are kind of iffy i'm glad there's an app like upside coming through for us and the community it also benefits the local businesses that we've grown up around all right guys like i said we want to help you out so all you have to do is just download the free upside app and use our code jj vlogs and get an extra 25 cents back for every gallon on your first tank of gas with that being said thank you to upside for sponsoring today's video now let's get on with the show i'm gonna show you guys what my parents got for Anguski for christmas okay guys on with the title of this video blanca's upstairs getting ready because we have a really busy day ahead of us i just wanted to kind of address why we didn't spend christmas with my family it's actually quite sad and um i didn't really want to address it because it's just going to cause more drama but as a lot of you guys know they don't pop up on camera and, and we didn't obviously spend new years or christmas with them and that's because they went to mexico <laughs> I don't know how many times we have addressed this guys or we've addressed this on this channel we've addressed this on the podcast continuously uh, my parents go to Mexico every single year guys for Christmas and for New Year's before I met Blanca yo siempre me iba con ellos you might be asking well it's your baby's first year it doesn't really matter guys my parents actually just finished building freaking house it's beautiful it's gorgeous so they were really excited to go like furnish it and put everything in and then spend all the holidays like mis abuelos to come over to their new house so they were super excited about that guys so so obviously that's super fun but yeah guys that's pretty much it i don't know siempre en los comments siempre se hace el chismecillo ese that i don't talk to my family for some reason and well i'm obviously gonna keep uh profiting on it if that's what the case you know i don't know why uh, I feel like this, I said this in the podcast, there's always like the quiet family and there's the loud family. And obviously Blanca has been doing YouTube for like six years now, guys. So obviously her family is more comfortable with the camera. My family's even like shy to take pictures at home by themselves. So I don't really like shoving the camera in their face when we go visit them, but we do guys. And <laughs> A su compadre, ¿qué le dice a su compadre? Venga, sí, compadre, véngase aquí a los chicharroncitos, lo invitamos, está invitado, tráigase la familia, tráigase a Franquito a enseñarlo a que coma chicharrones. Como él comía, ¿se acuerda cómo sí. lo dejaba hasta que lo dejaba? comía, compadre, véngase. <risa> Ay, no te sé, pero a mí no la cigarra del palo, a mí no. Ay, por dos, te 
actually go over as soon as they got home from Mexico and they brought they already had these presents for Franco they obviously wanted to give them to him like in person and have him crawl around the house because se llevaron trailas se llevaron like a bunch of furniture so the last few days were really chaotic for them guys so I'm gonna show you what they got Frankuski for his first Christmas so starting off with this little toy here it's like a buildable train um, slash like you can connect it all but it's also like individual trucks. Um, obviously, I couldn't find all the pieces because Franco pues ya jugó con él, like all, and he already lost some already. Uh, the next toy they got him was this Coco Melon Baby, which I'm not gonna be able to shut up. Oh, there. They got him that, he lo absolutely loves that. Uh, and then nos trajeron un montón de cosas, not only to, my, to me and obviously my little family, but to my suegra and suegro, they brought them uh, like chips, cookies, bread de allá, quesos, um, a whole bunch of different things, guys. And lastly, the coolest thing they got him, which I don't think we're gonna open for a while because it's honestly really like nice and I don't want him to break it. He has like a little toy, like a little, little one, like about this big, but this one, an actual piano, like it has a whole bunch of different settings and it's actually super nice guys what's crazy is that franco like i don't know we haven't really said this on like instagram or anything like that but franco is getting like this it, it runs in the family because i don't know if you guys know but blanca's older brother is really into like making beats and he's really good with music that coco melon baby always moves by itself so i don't know Anyways, um, the, he's really good at making beats and music and whatnot, really good at rapping. And then Blanca's younger sister, Jimena, is actually like, I kid you not, guys, it, she's a really, really good singer. Like, Jenny Rivera type voice, pero le da mucha pena cantar. So her family, like her side of the family, like her dad's are, and her dad loves to sing. He's a really, really good singer. And Blanca, believe it or not, sings really good too. So I feel like he has this like little music bug in him because I'll, I'll try to find some videos and if I do, I'll insert them. But he like by himself, he has this toy, right? Where like it's a little school bus and he presses the button and it makes like a little jingle and he'll dance, like he'll press it and then scoop back and he'll start dancing. Like he'll start like his little version of dancing. Um, his favorite video in the whole wide world on YouTube is La Boda del Week La Coche. Um, he loves to dance, guys. I don't, and I think that's like, his uh, mom's side of the family because I do not like to dance, I do not like to sing, me da mucha pena. So I feel like this little piano is like a sign from God because I feel like he is gonna be very music inclined. You know, my parents for a reason felt the attraction to buy that for him because I feel like he will use it in the future, whether that be the piano, guitar. I just feel like music is in his blood for some reason. So. I'm really excited about that. And then my little cousins, um, I think you guys have seen them in the vlog, the little little boys that are really crazy. My tío's uh, kids and daughter sent us these customized cups. This one says Blanca J. And they like, they're so cute, they're so little, but yet they know the things we like. Like they know Blanca likes sunflowers, so they kind of like, this is all like handmade. Obviously not the cup, but like they did all this, like her name, the straw sunflowers and then for me they know i just got a jeep which is super exciting so they put like a jeep i don't know if you can see that and then they put my name here in the middle and i think it's super dope it's still like this is not gonna leave the jeep so yeah guys there you have it there's a cheese my what they got franco for christmas so yeah that's pretty much it What's up guys, we are getting ready to head out. Franco and I just took the fattest nap in the whole world. So he's off to grandma's and we're off to go to the gym. What are you wearing? What? Wait, wait, I gotta tell them that our freaking cycling class guys that I told you about this morning, it got canceled. That was so I dumb. I freaking knew it because of the snow and now we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna go to the gym instead just to get a normal cardio and lift in. And then we got sushi with Marco and Kaylee after. Yay! And you're going to grandma's! 
Blanco hasn't seen Gma in about like two, three days. Mm -hmm. So it's overdue from Gma. Oh, lindo! <laughs> otro, 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 otro. Top it. Oh, me? Oh. I love you. So since it's late in the day and we haven't been to the gym, we literally have no energy. So I'm going to open this package. Mientras se el carro. We're going to open this because it's from Alani New, baby. Sheesh! We have the pre-workout in Juicy Peach. And we have them in the... Cans. Mm. Do you want one or do you want to take a shot of pre-workout? Um, Wendy sent me this over with my Amores Cafe package. It's so freaking cute. So we're gonna add ice and my delicious baby. Put it on the same plate. And in Japan. Dang, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, chido. Comiendo un cono. Okay guys, we are back home with Sir Chubby Lots. I think we're just gonna go upstairs, shower him maybe. We don't know because it's kind of late and it's really cold. Just uh, hope you enjoy this little realistic, like day in our life kind of type of vlog. Sometimes it consists more of Blanca working, like editing. Sometimes it's the other way around. Sometimes I edit all day. But regardless guys, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Should I tell them how much I weigh? Guys, obviously at yoga, they don't have skills for you to weigh yourself because it's not a gym, it's a yoga class. And today we went to our actual gym and I weighed myself and I am pre-pregnancy, pre-COVID weight. Like this is my prime time 18, 19 year old weight when I used to go to the gym for like three hours a day and lift. And granted, I don't have any muscle, so I kind of <laughs> lost all my muscle, but I'm not into the muscle anymore. I'm kind of more into the toned, slim body types and I am at that weight right now, which I freaking love. It's past your bedtime, bud. Se vuela, if it's like past his bedtime and he's, there's like people over or we're somewhere else, he will not go to sleep unless it's like way past it. So it's 9 p.m. And yeah, we're gonna shower him. We're, we're not gonna shower him because it's again past his bedtime. But unfortunately, he has a full head of yogurt. Can they see it? Yeah, I showed him this morning. <laughs> so um, I was like, oh, I wasn't gonna shower him, but now he has to get in bed with clean hair. Porque tiene yogurt. So. Do you guys want to see our nighttime routine? <laughs> I love you. Does it happen to anyone else's baby that when they're at grandma's or someone else's, se chivan? Because Franco ahorita anda de mirenme, pero no me toquen. And he gets this little attitude when okay. he's either with grandma or he comes back. Like, well, because grandma Cause he gets is spoiled. my favorite person in the world. Oh, you oh want he's literally holding the tripod. <laughs> Oh, I love you. What are you doing? Shower. I just turned on the shower. No, babe, it's gonna. I have to wash his hair. I guess. Never mind. Oh, it's rubble. Do ya sabes quién es? Get a little in this butter.
Percy. Hazlo así. Ahora se hace así. Muy bien. Siguen las orejitas. Yo, that's a lot. <laughs> Brushing his hair out. Yo, turns on his own white noise. Ah, we did it. I think we've got to turn it up too. Oh. Abajo. Muy bien. Un besito. Pero mm. vayas a recoger. This is the part where mom puts Franco down to sleep. Uh, usually when he was a little bit more little, he kind of needed me there to like at least feel me. It was weird, like he would not go to sleep unless I was there next to him. But now as he gets older, I feel like, and right now especially, he's super tired. So he's probably going to knock out here very soon. And while Blanca puts him to sleep, I'm going to go ahead and clean the kitchen a little bit. Clean the kitchen and living room a little bit, tidy up his toys and whatnot, and take some laundry upstairs. <laughs> Okay guys, as you just saw, I tidied up the living room a little bit. I know it looks like I just shoved the toys into the corner, and that's because I did, but that's only because he's just gonna use them right away in the morning. If we have like people coming over or something like that, then that's when I'll like tidy up better and put them in the closet or in his little toy room, but he's just gonna play with them in the morning, so why not, you know? Sorry, quality changes a little bit, guys, but the camera was literally about to die. But now I'm gonna go outside with Ozo Square for a little bit. The pups didn't get their usual walk run to the park today. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time outside with him just because I know he's like a little attention whore. He doesn't need much guys. Ozo doesn't need mile walks. He doesn't need, you know, hours of playing. All he needs is some quality time here and there, you know, at least once a day to make him feel special. Oh, but even if that's just out here watching him pee, he loves when like people are just with him outside, so. Go pee, go pee, go pee. Go, go pee. Go pee. Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. You're gonna eat it here all the time. All right, guys, baby is asleep. He's down for bedtime. <laughs> and now 
it's work time. We literally, when my mom doesn't come help us, we have to work between naps and clean between naps. So a veces necesitamos que hacer. We don't know if we should work or clean or take a nap too. So right now I have to work and what do you have to do? I have to work too. We have to both work tonight and I mean, that's fine. No pasa nada. What time is it? It is 10.04. It's way past his bedtime, which sucks because I feel like a lot of people are like, well, if your baby sleeps late, he's going to wake up late. You know, you're going to sleep in hell. No, if he sleeps past his bedtime, he's going to be up by like 6 a.m. Huh? Mm -hmm. So hopefully... The later he goes to sleep, the earlier he wakes up. Yeah, he wants to sleep two hours past his bedtime. So I think we're still in the clear for him to wake up at 7.30. But if not, at 6 a.m., we're going to be there nursing him to sleep and it's going to be a little tough on us. But I'm going to eat my dessert, though. That's what I'm going to do. What dessert? My cookies, like here we go. <gasps> I can't just have them for a Right? I guess. It's not ugly as. Mandy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.